What scientists discovered in Mount Everest left people speechless. Let's take a look into it. Green Ice In 2019, an expedition led by the National Geographic Society made a fascinating discovery on the Khumbu Glacier, which is situated near the base of Mount Everest. Scientists noted patches of vibrant green-colored ice scattered across the glacier's surface. This phenomenon immediately captured their attention and led to further investigation. The explanation for this unique coloration lay in the presence of microalgae, particularly Chlamydomonas nivalis. These microorganisms have adapted to harsh conditions of the glacier, including extreme cold and high UV radiation levels. The green color is due to the algae's pigments, which serve the purpose of absorbing sunlight and thus accelerating the melting of ice around them. While this might sound counterintuitive, this adaptation could have far-reaching implications for glacial melting and its contribution to rising sea levels. The presence of such microorganisms could potentially amplify the effects of climate change on glacial retreat, sparking concerns about the stability of these icy landscapes and the surrounding ecosystem. Mallory and Irvine The ill-fated 1924 British expedition, led by George Mallory and Andrew Irvine, is one of the most enduring mysteries of Mount Everest. The two climbers set out to reach the summit and were last seen alive just a few hundred meters from it. In 1999, an expedition discovered George Mallory's remarkably well-preserved remains on Everest's north face. This discovery stirred considerable interest and speculation about whether they had successfully reached the summit before their tragic end. One particular item of interest was Mallory's camera, which he was rumored to carry on the expedition. The camera, if found, could potentially contain photographic evidence of their summit attempt and the circumstances surrounding it. Despite extensive searches, the camera's whereabouts remain unknown. Its discovery could provide valuable insights into the final moments of Mallory and Irvine, shedding light on a nearly century-old mystery that continues to captivate climbers, historians, and adventurers alike. Yaks Oxygen-Carrying Blood Yaks have become indispensable companions for climbers, attempting to scale the treacherous slopes of Mount Everest. These animals, known for their resilience to extreme conditions, have a remarkable adaptation that allows them to thrive at high altitudes. Researchers have found that yaks possess a unique ability to adapt to low oxygen levels. Unlike humans, yaks have higher levels of protein, called hemoglobin, in their blood. Hemoglobin is responsible for carrying oxygen from the lungs to the rest of the body. In yaks, this adaptation allows them to carry more oxygen in their blood, enhancing their ability to function effectively in the thin air at high altitudes. This discovery not only offers insights into the physiology of these hardy creatures, but also provides researchers with valuable information about how different species cope with the challenges posed by extreme altitudes. Frozen Bodies of Climbers Mount Everest, often referred to as the roof of the world, has earned another somber distinction as the world's highest graveyard. The mountain's treacherous slopes and unpredictable weather conditions have claimed the lives of numerous climbers over the years. Due to the extreme cold and high altitude conditions, some of the bodies of these unfortunate climbers have been remarkably well preserved. These frozen remains serve as poignant reminders of the perils associated with attempting to conquer Everest. Over time, some of these bodies have been repositioned or moved by the elements, and their presence has become a haunting testament to the challenges and risks inherent in high altitude mountaineering. These preserved remains also spark ethical and logistical discussions about how to respectfully manage and memorialize the fallen climbers while ensuring the safety of those who continue to ascend the mountain. The Death Zone and Human Survival Limits One of the most shocking discoveries on Mount Everest is the physiological challenges posed by the Death Zone, an altitude above 26,247 feet, 8,000 meters where the air becomes incredibly thin, making it difficult for the human body to acclimatize and survive. Scientists have extensively studied how the lack of oxygen and extreme conditions affect climbers in this zone. In the 1980s, researchers conducted studies on the effects of high-altitude exposure by analyzing climbers who died on Everest. Autopsies revealed that many deaths were caused by high-altitude pulmonary edema HAPE, and high-altitude cerebral edema HAC, conditions that cause fluid to accumulate in the lungs and brain respectively. 
These findings led to a better understanding of how the body responds to extreme altitudes and help stage guidelines for climbers to acclimatize properly and ascend gradually. The discovery of the physiological limitations imposed by the death zone has influenced mountaineering practices, equipment design, and medical interventions, as climbers now better understand the risks and challenges they face when pushing their bodies to such extreme altitudes. Before we continue, make sure to like the video and hit the subscribe button if you're enjoying it. Also press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Now let's get back to what we were talking about. Jet Streams Affecting Climbing Conditions The challenging weather conditions on Mount Everest are heavily influenced by the position of the jet stream, a high-altitude, fast-flowing air current. Researchers have discovered that the jet stream plays a crucial role in determining the feasibility and safety of climbing expeditions. The location of the jet stream significantly impacts wind patterns, weather conditions, and temperatures on the mountain. Climbers need to time their ascent carefully to take advantage of periods when the jet stream's position allows for more stable weather conditions. Certain windows, known as weather windows, offer relatively calm and predictable weather, making summit attempts more feasible. Understanding the behavior of the jet stream and its interactions with the local climate is essential for climbers and expedition planners to make informed decisions and increase their chances of a successful and safe ascent. Microplastics at Extreme Altitudes In an alarming revelation that underscores the extent of plastic pollution, scientists made a startling discovery on Mount Everest. In 2019, researchers collected samples of snow and stream water from multiple locations along the mountain's route, including at elevations exceeding 27,000 feet. Shockingly, these samples contain traces of microplastic particles. These microscopic fragments, often invisible to the naked eye, are a result of the breakdown of larger plastic items. Wind and precipitation carry these particles to the highest peaks, highlighting the global reach of plastic pollution. The finding is a stark reminder that even the most remote and seemingly pristine environments are not immune to the pervasive impact of human-generated waste. It underscores the urgent need for worldwide efforts to reduce plastic consumption and improve waste management practices to protect both terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems. Human Waste Problem As Mount Everest becomes an increasingly popular destination for climbers, the mountain faces a growing environmental challenge, the accumulation of human waste. In 2019, a comprehensive study conducted by the Sagarmartha Pollution Control Committee and the National Geographic Society shed light on the extent of this issue. Astonishingly, the study estimated that climbers had left behind over 26,000 pounds of human waste on the mountain. This waste, including excrement and discarded equipment, like used oxygen cylinders, poses significant risks to both the local ecosystem and the health of those who rely on the region's water sources downstream. The shocking quantity of waste underscores the necessity of implementing sustainable waste management practices and raising awareness among climbers about the importance of minimizing their environmental impact. Ice Core Climate Records The glaciers of Mount Everest store more than just ice. They hold invaluable records of Earth's past climate. In 2013, an international team of scientists embarked on a groundbreaking expedition to extract ice cores from Everest glaciers. These ice cores provide a unique window into the planet's climatic history, offering insights into temperature fluctuations, atmospheric composition, and even the occurrence of significant volcanic eruptions. By analyzing the composition of the ice, scientists can reconstruct the conditions that prevailed during different time periods, helping to understand the complex interplay of nature and human-induced factors that have shaped the Earth's climate over millennia. These records contribute to our broader understanding of the Earth's dynamic climate systems and the potential impacts of ongoing environmental changes. With this, we come to the end of our video. Here was a look at the speechless discoveries scientists have made on Mount Everest.